and he's shorter and sometimes it overflows if you're pouring it in. Better longer. Is this complete? Yep. Uh -huh. I'm not uh, thread tape. Probably. Did you buy thread tape? Yes, I did. I did. While somebody is standing, is there Oh, yeah. I left it here. I left it here. But wait, before you cut, I want to make sure that this is the right length. Uh, mm -hmm. One second. Um, but Bob had asked him, Mama asked me that I would write the document, and I just haven't had time. I'm going to write it, but if you have to complete. Yeah, okay. 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 Okay
and if you have a little methane and a lot of air you can get an explosion yes. so what you want to do is you wait you open it if you start seeing pressure of okay. gas coming out okay. are we not losing the gas like that it's fine hey, initially initially you, you should get rid of it all you, you get rid of because you want to get rid of all the air and all the co2, all the CO2. Okay. then and anything that comes after that okay. will be mainly okay. methane, methane. Yeah. so okay. let the little pressure come out then okay. test it okay. every day that you can open yeah. it and see if there's pressure day, coming out yeah and i'll tell you what's going to happen the first couple of days it actually is going to draw air in, so be careful as you open it. I usually take a piece of paper or something okay. and put it in front. If I see that it's blowing the paper up, I let it go. Okay. If I see that it sucks the paper down, I immediately okay. close it because okay. otherwise you're going to let air in. Okay, okay. Because okay. what it's okay. going to do is these bacteria are going to eat all the oxygen that's in here okay. and they're going to create a vacuum. Okay. And then it's going to be replaced by air if you open that. Okay. Until we get enough methane and CO2 to push okay. out, it wants to suck in. Is it every every day before you see it, we must open it? And no, it, this is the initial stage. Initial stage. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Once you, you start you using it, okay. Okay. No, no, need. no need. No need. Because okay. once you start using it, there you may not even already. close it here. Okay. You, you will close it over there. Over the yeah. And then, yeah. uh, okay. because you are feeding, okay. it will now produce, produce more. Yeah. Produce more. And as it's producing, okay. you'll be able to estimate okay. the amount that is produced by the height okay. that this goes. Be a Notice that there's no one size fits all. You're always going to have to look at different tank sizes. And in this case, we had a situation where the size of the tanks was a little bit taller. So we have this loss here, this uh, area that's dead space. And one of the things that contributes to that dead space, besides the gravel that we put in, we had very large gravel, is the corners, which are very high. So what we're drawing on this one here is to cut the corners off and that way when we actually push this in when it gets put in it doesn't have as high an area up here still has a bit of height here maybe it's better to continue to cut this down I'm thinking that we make only this weaker mm -hmm. and make it a bit weaker which is okay but on the other hand we like this to drag the water around so that's the thing about keeping something here is to be able to move it. So it's a bit of compromise. I would say leave it as is. They've always worked in the past. And uh, think of uh, other improvements it later. This edge we will cut and we'll leave. Right, and the other idea the future. for the future is to cut this out and leave these to drag the water. And then it'll be a modification, that, a Nigerian improvement. So oh, please, mm -hmm. during the uh, rainy season, mm -hmm. what are the precautions to be taken? The rainy but season is going to make less uh, gas. It's going to make uh -huh. less gas. Because it's, cause it's then, colder. Uh -huh. But assuming the water enters here during the rainy season, fine. it's fine. It's okay. No problem. No problem. No, uh, this just becomes fertilizer and the rain will push it out and you'll just have fertilizer on the ground. Okay. But you will still have gas in the rainy season. Oh, yeah. It okay. just will be less gas when okay, the temperature is low. That is the reason that we put these bacterial hotels or these fuel rods in. Our entire idea with this is somewhere in this tank, let's assume that we're like this. Now the bacteria are living along here and inside here. Okay. Down at the bottom it's cold. Okay. Up at the top it's warm. It's warm. So the bacteria will still live where it's warm and make gas, whereas down at the bottom they may be sleeping. sleeping. But during the dry season, they all come. They all come because this is black tank and it gets very warm and then they're all happy. So this is why I added this. I don't know if you can see it from the distance. Yeah, I can see it. The bacterial fuel rod area. And my hypothesis was the more of these rods we put in, the more bacteria we have in the warm zone. And then because this thing has got these, it pulls the food up to feed these bacteria. You see, when it goes down, then there's food at the bottom, right? Because we're feeding the bottom. So the thing goes down like this, and then you feed it and the food gets in the tray. And then it starts to rise, and it lifts the food and feeds all these bacteria. That was my idea here. How do you get the food up to the people in the top floor of the hotel? Mm -hmm. So this is the elevator. Oh. Huh. Oh. Huh. <laughs> a bacterial elevator okay. for the bacteria hotel. Yes. Yes. My yeah. question is that, yeah. you know, the food is coming below. Right. How will the food get there? Because it's being coming in, as you pour new food in, it goes lift, 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 lift. So imagine that this is down like this. Okay. 
And, and the sana, food comes in, the food is, and, it, yeah. and it, food is, is, is uh, a lot of it is of different densities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yep. some particles are going to go. Okay. Okay. When this when this one is going down, mm -hmm. is it mean that there is no more food or there is yeah, no food? When no, it is the gas pressure. The gas, that's the gas. gas that's going down. You're using yeah. the gas. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's yeah. making yeah. gas. Yeah. More, yeah. Gas, yeah. more gas, more gas. The gas is filling up here. Yeah, because yeah. okay. this is a balloon. Yes, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. When this fills, it, you could use, some people I've seen, they actually use balloons for this. And they don't use this at all. And in, uh, in Jordan and um, Israel now, a friend of mine builds these out of plastic bags. He says they don't have any plastic tanks, so they take a big plastic bag and they dig a ditch and they fill it with manure and water, put the food in, and they put a big plastic bag, and then inside the plastic bag it just goes. Mm -hmm. The problem he has is once the bag is full of gas, he has how do you to get the gas her? out? So he has to have people come and push boards on it to push the plastic bag down. This we just put a brick. Yeah. Uh, I have a uh, last question. Please. Yes, but you have a thousand more questions. Assuming I don't have enough money yeah. to buy a bigger tank like this, yeah. mm -hmm. and I want to do my own experiment, mm -hmm. yep. I, I have a, something bigger, a little bigger than this one. This, I see, get, I guess. Remember, see, this remember, same thing we have done here. Uh, you can use this. Sorry for my question. No, tank. sorry. Uh -huh. You can use this small plastic tank. The only thing uh -huh. is the quantity of gas you will get will be smaller. Half an hour. An hour. An hour yeah. all. Didn't use this until we come back in uh, in April. It's still here, and we can make it work. So if you didn't touch it, if you didn't use it, for sure. We're no, we're even going to use it yeah. because I will make sure in the next one month, whatever problem that is not making us use it, uh -huh. we will get in touch with you over the this thing. because we wouldn't want to just leave it yeah. like that. Yeah. We will make it work. That's yes. that's yeah. why I'm around. If there's a problem, we'll get in touch with you and over the. The only modification internet. I can see to improve this is one day when it's filled with gas. Okay. And it's all the way up, and it's not hard. But it'll be all the way up. You might just take it off and cut another. Cut so these edges. Cut the okay. corner, so it could go down. For you lose all the gas. Who cares? Yes, it's free yeah. anyway. Okay. Then put, put it back, it back in, and maybe it'll go lower. Okay. Yeah. Yes. That's the only modification I would make seeing this now. Yes. But I wouldn't try the effort of lifting this out because no, 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 the bacteria no, no, no. will do the lifting for you. Yes. They're going yes. to. Press this up. Okay. That is inevitable because there's manure in there. Yes. At some point in the next Ooh. three weeks or so. Yay! This <laughs> all. So whatever it will take us okay. after about three weeks now. Okay. If we don't have methane yet. In it and we're gonna put it on a truck. Okay. On the other side. Fertilize. 